Good Wednesday morning to you. As we look at God's Word, I'd, I'd like to, to just take a moment and read these scriptures to us from 2 Corinthians, the second chapter, beginning with verse 14, where Paul is writing to the church at Corinth, and he's encouraging the Christians there to remember that when they have accepted Jesus Christ as their Savior, that they take on a whole new countenance, that they take on an aroma, an appearance uh, of what God has done in their life. Listen to this. Verse 14, But me thank God he has made us his captives and he continues, Jesus, to lead us along in Christ's triumphal procession. He's talking about the triumphant entry that he entered into Jerusalem on before uh, his crucifixion and resurrection. Now he uses us to spread the knowledge of Christ everywhere. Paul is saying he, he's using you and me, those who are unlovable and unworthy, to, to spread his love. He says, now he uses us to spread the knowledge of Christ everywhere like a sweet perfume. I don't sometimes, I don't think I'm a sweet perfume for Christ. Sometimes I'm a stinking odor. Sometimes I feel like I fail the very essence of what God wants us to be and do. He says in verse 15, our lives are like a Christ-like fragrance rising up to God. But this fragrance is perceived differently by those who are being saved and by those who are perishing. He's saying when we share the love of Christ with those who don't want to hear it, that we're a stinking odor, that they are going to hell and they don't care about what we have to say. But for those who've accepted the love of Jesus, they anxiously await to know what you say, what you think, how you can be supportive of them. To those who are perishing, we're a dreadful smell of death and doom, he says. But to those who are being saved, we're a life-giving perfume. And who is adequate for such a task as this? Paul's saying, we're not adequate. We're not worthy. In verse 17, you see, we're not like the many hucksters. These, this is what he says, who preach for personal profit. We preach the word of God with sincerity, with Christ's authority, knowing that God is watching us. I want you to be aware that individuals who preach Jesus and who are able to purchase Lamborghinis, two to four thousand dollar shark skin suits, have Lear jets that they travel all over the world to preach Jesus for profit, because it feathers their benefit. We do not serve a church where the minister controls the money, where the minister puts the money in his pocket and writes his own check. He says, hucksters do that, pretending to be sharing the love of God. It is the church that makes the decisions, not the minister. The minister preaches, teaches, and edifies about the love of God. The minister is a player coach. Paul says, I struggle with you. I don't dictate to you. I walk in the triumphant entry with you. I don't lead the parade. Paul himself humbled himself to become a sweet smelling fragrance for the love of Jesus. Now, some days, y'all, like I said, I don't feel like I honor God. I feel like I fail him in so many ways. But in failing him, I have to confess my brokenness and when you confess your brokenness and your sinfulness, did you know that that is a sweet-smelling fragrance to our God who knows you're confessing your sins to him? And that makes him so happy because he's in the business of forgiving sin. And without sin, there's no forgiveness. There's nothing Jesus has to offer and saying, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Pray with me. Father, we walk together today in your, in your presence and in your love. Grant us this day your joy. Amen. Get in this Wednesday and make this a glorious Wednesday for Jesus. 
and share his love with somebody. I'll see you tomorrow on Thursday. God bless you.